What happens to our bodies during sex? While most of us are convinced that we like to have sex, most of us also do not spend much time thinking about what happened physiologically while performing this act. Masters and Johnson, two prominent sex therapists, coined the term sexual response cycle to refer to a sequence of events that occur in the body when a person is sexually aroused and participates in sexually arousing activities such as sex, masturbation, foreplay, etc. The cycle of sexual response is divided into four categories excitement, plateau, orgasm and resolution. There is no distinct beginning or end of each stage. In fact it is all part of the ongoing process of sexual response. Keep in mind that, this is a very common framework, of what happens to all of us as we are sexually aroused. There are many differences between people, and between different sexual events. Both men and women go through all four stages. Except when the time is different. Men usually reach orgasm first during sex, while women can take up to 15 minutes to reach the same area. This makes the chances of orgasm simultaneously, during sex an unusual event. Stage 1. Excitement. This stage usually starts within 10 to 30 seconds after a sexual stimulation, and can last anywhere from a few minutes to several hours. What happens to the man and the woman during this stage? For men. The penis is slightly stiff and erect. The man's nipples may also stand up. For women. Softening of the vagina begins. The vagina expands. The outer lips, inner lips, clitoris and sometimes the breast start to swell. Heart rate, blood pressure, and respiration are all rapid in both man and woman. Stage 2. Plateau. The changes that began in the excitement stage continue to progress. For men. Teasts pull into the scrotum. The penis is completely erect. For women. Vaginal lips are puffed up. The tissues of the walls of the outer third of the vagina become filled with blood. And the opening of the vagina decreases. The clitoris disappears. Internal lips change color, although it's hard to notice. For women who have never had children, their lips turn from pink to bright red. For women who have had children, the color turns from bright red to deep purple. In both man and woman, breathing rates and pulse rates are rapid. Sex outburst can appear on the abdomen, chest, shoulders, neck or face. Muscle tension in the thighs, buttocks and arms. Stage 3. Orgasm. This is the climax of the cycle. And it is the shortest of the four stages. Usually takes only a few seconds. For men. First, semen collects in the urethral bulb. This is when a person may feel that orgasm is certain. Next, the sperms are released from the man. Contractions occur in the penis during the orgasmic phase. For women. The first third of the walls of the vagina contract every 18 seconds. The number and intensity of the contractions vary depending on each orgasm. The uterine muscles also contract slightly. Respiration, heart rate, and blood pressure continue to rise. Stage 4. Resolution. This stage is to return to a normal state of rest. It can last from a few minutes to half an hour or more. This stage is usually longer for women than for men. For men. The penis returns to its normal flaccid state. There is usually a period during which it is impossible to orgasm again, and until some time has passed. Time varies between men according to age and other factors. For women, the uterus and clitoris return to their normal position. Some women may be able to respond to additional stimuli through additional orgasms. Swelling recovers, any sexual rash disappears, and there is a normal release of muscle stiffness in both man and woman. Understanding what is happening to you and your partner's body during sex can help you to enjoy the full experience. Combine this with good communication skills and find a key to unlocking the sexual pleasures and desires of your heart. Thank you so much for watching.